what the fuck did I just watch? This is going to be a good day. It's your screen, baby. What's up, everyone? My name is Joe, and this is Different Take. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Remember to click the bell so you don't miss out on any new content. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of The Lodge, and also let me know what your favorite isolation movie is. Like, isolation horror, isolate whatever, but your favorite isolation movie. The Lodge is a 2020 horror suspense thriller. Stars Riley Keough, Jaden Martell, Liam McHugh, Richard Armitage? 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 Armitage. I'm gonna go with Armitage. I don't know. Let me know if I mess up. And Alicia Silverstone. It was directed by Severin Fiala and Veronica Franz. The Lodge follows a family who retreat to their remote winter cabin over the holidays. How would you feel about going to the mountains for Christmas with Grace? When the father is forced to abruptly leave for work, he leaves his children, Aiden and Mia, in the care of his new girlfriend, Grace. Isolated and alone, a blizzard traps them inside the lodge as terrifying events start to unfold. Is it okay? Trust me. You have nothing to be scared about. What the shit? Okay, uh, where do I start with this one? Uh, let's see. You know, when I was living in Philly, we used to take trips up to the to the Poconos. You know, get to the Poconos. People in Philly know what I'm talking about, of the Poconos. Head up to the Poconos ASAP. Yeah, you used to be up there with the, the, the lodges up there and the, you know, the houses up there is pretty isolated. Yeah, um, about that. Yeah, I don't know about doing that anymore. Not with this movie, mm-mm. So, this is a movie that is like an isolation movie. It's like a winter snow isolation movie, very much like The Thing. They even have a reference to The Thing in the movie. Um, but just imagine that kind of deal. It also has like a social commentary on like religion a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much, but you can kind of get that just based on the story when you're watching it. This movie is a slow burn, slow burn. So when you're watching it, you really got to just focus and pay attention. Turn the lights off, turn everything off, turn your phone off, put it on silent, and just sit down and focus and watch the movie. It's the only way you can I put this movie on when I wasn't really paying attention at first, and then something happens, and it happens. And my reaction was just, what the fuck? What? What just happened? Yeah. Yeah, that was me. That was me watching the movie, because that was literally it. I remember that clear as day. Mm. That happens, and it just made me go, okay, um, pause. Hold on. What am I watching? And then I had to rewind it, just start from the beginning to understand what the hell was going on, because I just didn't know what the hell I was seeing. And I start the movie over, because I knew that I was in for something a little whew, heavy. And I knew I needed to pay attention to this. So I stopped whatever I was doing and I sat down and I watched this thing. And it's the only way you can watch it because I've heard some people watch this and they're like, ah, yeah, it's boring, nothing happened. There's a lot that happens. Hello? There's a lot of mood and atmosphere in this movie as far as like the visuals are outstanding. They, it kind of reminds me of Hereditary a little bit, just from like, there's like a dollhouse or something in there that they keep on showing in certain parts that is very reminiscent of Hereditary. The score is reminiscent of Hereditary a little bit. Certain visuals are, it's a beautiful movie. It's a gorgeous movie. The visuals outside, the visuals inside, just everything is just framed and just looks gorgeous. The score contributes to the feeling of the movie because the score is outstanding. It's so damn creepy. Very, very, very creepy. It really sets the mood. It's just, it just makes you real tense. So the visuals, the look, the story, and the score all contribute to this feeling of just dread watching this sort of like something bad is happening. You don't really know what. Did you do that? We didn't do anything. The story is good and it's tense and it's a slow burn, but the story doesn't work unless you have all the ingredients. So look and the cinematography and 
the score, but most of all, you need the actors. And the actors in this movie are outstanding. Everyone is just above and beyond. Riley Keough knocks it out of the park in this movie. She's really, really intense because you don't really know exactly what her background is too much. You, you know a little bit, but you're kind of going back and forth between believing and not believing her and sort of trusting her and not sort of trusting her and trusting the kids, but not sort of, you don't really know what's going on, but Riley Keough really sells herself to you because you're, you're doubtful of her character for unsaid reasons in the beginning. And then you watch it and then you start to sort of go, maybe she's not as bad. Maybe this is sort of, you know, and then you're like watching, you're going, well, maybe she is bad. And then you're, she just, she plays with you because she pulls off the character so well. So you're not really sure which direction to go. And that's a testament to her performance in this movie. The two kids in this, Jaden Martell and Liam McHugh, were really, really good in this. I already knew Jaden Martell could act because of It Chapter 1 and 2 and Knives Out, but I didn't know about Liam McHugh, and she really did a really stellar job. She sold a bunch of scenes that I did not expect her to, and these two kids really were awesome in this movie. You're leaving. What are you talking about? Look outside. We're stuck here. There's an uncertainty to this movie where you're not really sure which direction it's gonna go, and you're not really sure where, like, you're watching it and you're just, you're not entirely sold one way or the other. When you're watching it at first, you think it's gonna go like a, the hand that rocks the cradle kind of deal, then it all of a sudden is like an isolation movie, so then it kind of goes towards like the thing, so you're kind of feeling like that isolation, paranoia sort of deal going on where you can't trust anybody and you're in the middle of nowhere and the snow and everything, and then all of a sudden it just it goes to this weird storyline where there's a possibility of some supernatural stuff going on. So it's kind of like Lost a little bit, like the show Lost. And it's like, you don't know what is going on. And then all of a sudden it's like the hand that rocks the cradle again. And it just, you don't know exactly where the story's headed. And that's good because it keeps subverting your expectations. It keeps you on your toes a little bit. This movie is dark. Ah! You darkness. Dark, dark. Evil mother black magic darkness. Whoa, dark. If you don't like dark movies, you don't like dark stories, you don't like dark imagery, stay away from this movie. Stay away from it. Also stay away from it if you don't like slow burns. If you're impatient and you like just things happening and you know CGI and all that sort of stuff and all these big crazy things, you're not gonna like this movie because this movie wants you to sit down, focus, and watch it, and get sucked into everything that's happening around you and just sort of build all this tension. And if you don't like doing that, if your imagination doesn't really mess with your head and really create all these different things, you're not going to really enjoy this movie too much, but it really does a hell of a job at that. It most definitely is a psychological horror movie. It takes its time and it uses imagery and story and everything else to really build the atmosphere and build this tension. So it's also, it's a lot of it is psychological and it plays on that and it messes with your mind a little bit. If you like those movies, this is, this one's for you. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you, Selena, take it away.